I decided I wasn't going to pack until the day before my trip. And here I am, day before my trip, I did about eight loads of laundry. I'm not even kidding you, eight loads of laundry. I'm glad no one else at the complex needed to do laundry. We only have nine, uh, I guess we have ten washers. And so I was taking up all but two washers. And good thing only one person had to do laundry during the last two hours here in my 200 unit apartment complex. So I just have a mountain of laundry to fold here. Um, our flight leaves at six in the morning tomorrow. I didn't even know they let planes fly out of San Diego that early in the morning, but uh, apparently we're like one of the first planes to be taken off. And I'm not even packed. I still have to go by REI. I hear it's raining. Of all the times we pick to go to New York, it's gonna be raining nonstop the whole entire time we're there. And I don't even have a rain jacket. I mean, in San Diego, it rains for like a day and then it's not really all that much rain. And if it is all that much rain, you hear about it. It's like, people are like, oh my God, it was a downpour. And uh, you know, people don't show up to work here in San Diego when it rains. But in New York, it rains for two weeks at a time. Um, so if anything, we're just gonna be getting the full experience while we're out there. I can't wait to get to see my East Coast family. It's always, you know, it's always so long in between when we get to see each other. And then we really only come out for momentous occasions. I mean, even right now, we're coming out to surprise my uncle for his 70th birthday. And, uh, you know, it'd just be nice to go out there for shits and giggles one time. But, you know, New York is, what, 3,000 miles away from San Diego? So I guess it's understandable we can only really come out for big things, but who knows? Maybe YouTube will take me places and I'll be able to visit New York more often than that. I sure do love watching vlogs from New York City. It's almost midnight here in San Diego and this is how much I've packed. Most definitely gonna bring this with me and uh, see how it works out. The gimbal I just got. It's like 4:20 in the morning, and we're uh, we got 20 minutes till we have to leave. Holy cow! Parents are outside. Let's go out and say hi to them. Yes, sir. Uh. And it's misting here in San Diego as we're leaving. Oh, Jared, lock your car. <laughs> where is your car? Buddy? My car's down at the bottom of the street, but where? Which that? I don't even to think the I left got. Or to the right. Uh, to the right. Do you have your keys? Yeah, I got my keys. So can you go click click? Yep, I'll go click click. You got it. Uh, no, it's on the right here. I should be able to reach it. Where is it? To the right or no? Click, click. Yep. Flashing. Click, click. click.
the hotel room right now and uh, I have my gimbal all set up and I think we're gonna go out and maybe do some sightseeing like good tourists. So right now we're trying to walk over to Times Square. It's kind of misting a little bit and there's always a lot of people here in the city. My camera lens has a lot of water on it right now. Yeah. It's a little bit harder than I thought it would be walking around trying to film in the rain in New York City. But uh, we're only here for one day, so I figured I'd try to make the best of it. Uh, the whole purpose why we're out here is we're going to surprise my uncle for his 70th birthday. He has no idea that we flew all the way from California for the event. So hopefully I'll be able to get a little footage of his surprise later. It's definitely my arm workout of the day, walking the city with a gimbal in your hand. It's like holding a 15 pound weight at a 90 degree angle. We're in the uh, NBC studios. They have like a mall here in case you want to go boutique shopping. There's always a ton of tourists in here. Okay, we are just leaving NBC Studios right now. Okay, heading to Rockefeller Center right now. Should be cool. We're just doing a little sightsee. I know this isn't like my typical vlogs, but hell, I'm in New York City. I figured I'd make the most of it. Hey guys, how you doing? So we are right now at Rockefeller Center. We are walking around at night over here and uh, they put up these rain guards just like instantly. They were not up last night. There's some really cool fountains here. It was designated as a national landmark uh, back in 1987. Man, my arm's getting tired from holding this thing. I'll show you guys some of the cool statues here at Rockefeller Center. A medical sign with like some weird wings on top of it. And uh, there's all these things that appear to be like books at the bottom of it. Maybe it's a tribute for uh, how long doctors have to go to school. I don't know. <laughs> I believe they're all going into this. I'll ask you. No way. Have you ever heard of them? Yeah, I've heard of Nine Inch Nails. So I guess Nine Inch Nails are performing in the city today, and this is the line to go see them. And this right here is the Lego store in Manhattan. Uh, they had some really cool recreations here we were looking at last night. This 
is kind of cool. This elevator here goes down to the restaurant at the Rockefeller Center. I believe the Concourse Shops or Rock Center Cafe. And it's just so cool because it like comes out of the ground and then it goes back down into the ground. It's like an underground tunnel, man. guys so we're gonna go check out a subway station here it's pretty cool how they work they're just underground and uh, you walk down some stairs and you can get on a train Ooh, and there goes my gimbal <laughs> this is pretty cool Well, if you can see, if it wasn't closed right now, you could go to Uptown Bronx or whatever. Okay, we are leaving the subway station now. Times Square right now. especially with the current weather, but uh, that's where it drops. Hey, Frank. And I'm back in the hotel room. Everybody a moment of silence. Check out how cool this hotel room is. And my lovely family inside it. No, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't so bad that I could have seen all I love these ladies. For a bunch of them. They had like small ones, they had like, and they had like a little sack thing, so yeah. Guess who else has a sack? Shut up. Anyway, no, the cool thing about it is if you're living out of your suitcase for like a week and you want to get one thing out of there, you don't have to rummage, you know, like looking for the, oh, where's my underwear? Where's my socks? Okay. I've got a cube of socks and a cube of underwear, you know, it's, it's great. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> what bag are you using, Tiff? The <laughs> uh. Paxi Alpha. I've heard about this bag before. <laughs> Pretty sick. So is that like a waterproof plastic right here? It's like a rubberized, but it comes with oh, wow. its own uh, so they're all rain cover. 
it, it's got built-in packing bags in this backpack. And then it can be a backpack or a... Oh, that's the big pouch right there. Yep, and then you can, when it's on your back, you can open it up, get something from the inside. So you, if you left your jacket right here, you could grab it. Oh, wow, it. so that's like a quick wrap pouch. Mm -hmm. And then... It also has like padded, it's got a waist belt, you can tuck your things in. But this side. Oh. And this is like a brand new company that's kind of starting up. They've been around since 2016. Okay. But, that's and then new. this has like your laptop or important document oh. pocket. 